Okay, hello. We are going to be drawing uh, an Egyptian cat. So the video is speed has uh, been sped up. So while you're watching me draw uh, my cat and get the scene set up where the cat is, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, where you can find ideas to do this. So on the instruction page of this project you will see uh, some areas where you can click and it will send you to some idea sheets um, to draw your cat. Now when you're drawing your cat you can draw your cat posed in lots of different ways so your cat can be laying down like I'm drawing. You can have a cat that is sitting up that's fine too um, or your cat can be walking or you know it, it however you want to do it sitting walking laying down uh all, all are okay um you can see that i am drawing my accessories on my cat after i have my cat sketched that's when i can start adding these details there's also idea sheets for accessories that you can add to your egyptian cat so take a look at those um I'm drawing different types of bracelets. One, this is a an armband of a, a snake uh, that they used to wear up on their upper arm. It looked like the snake was winding around the upper arm. Uh, this is a belt I'm drawing on the cat right now. Uh, sometimes they had a, a part that would drop down um, that was also decorated, but since my cat is lying down you can't see that part and then I have a cuff on the front paw and a headdress of a cobra and now my cat is lounging on a very um, fancy pillow that I am drawing in so I'm setting up my my scene where my cat is and now here's the horizon line and these are columns that I've dropped in here so we can assume that my cat is on kind of like a, a porch or um, something that's overlooking a city. And here are some pyramids. Now look, see how I'm drawing the lines so that it looks like um, the side is moving away from us. So you have to pay attention to those details so that we, um, so that it looks like it's three dimensional and it's in the distance. So remember to draw your scene so that it's, everything is in proper perspective. Here's an obelisk that I've put in here. And remember, I'm erasing lines um, so that it looks like it is in front of the column. So pay attention to those types of details too. And now I am laying in some um, hieroglyphics and there is an idea page for different hieroglyphics that you can use you don't have to use a lot of them i'm just kind of randomly using them in my picture um you can see on that cuff on the front paw i put the eye of ra and uh i have an, an ankh drawn on there um okay i'm putting in some floor tiles and there it is it's all set up and you can add details uh to yours just like that i can't wait to see what you come up with